Hi guys, it's the second week of classes. I've just been doing pretty much the same thing every day. Waking up, going to class, going to the gym, coming back, study a bit, sleep. But tonight, I am going to bring some exchanges to Chinatown to eat Chinese food. So that would be a nice change to my routine and I am excited. Yeah, oh, okay, we are recording you and me explaining. Yes, so the recording button here is recording. Right. Oh, and, and, okay, see this is recording. This is recording. Right, because it's a. Hello, guys, audio here is si bei jia so I have decided to voice over. Basically, we just ate shao kao. I think it's just like meat on skewers and it was pretty damn good. Oh yeah, and then we had dessert. I had mango sago and sesame paste, but honestly I just really 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 love the tang yuan. Morning! It is Friday. I did not film for the majority of the week because I was just busy with school and really lazy. But this week has been not bad. I had um, quite a lot of classes and I think they are going quite okay. I've also gotten back to doing some more lower body exercises with my leg. Today I ran 10km. Okay, I jogged 10km. It wasn't a really fast pace, but I think it's not bad for somebody who is recovering, right? And I, I got lunch and I can't wait to eat. And tonight I'll be going to another party, so I'm excited for that. But otherwise, the week's been great. Love me, I sing to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you because all I need, all I need. I wanted to share a bit about some of the specimens I caught. So, this is one of my favorites, which is a rubber fly. I identified it to family as Seline, but I'm not very sure that's accurate. And this is my Pure Got Today fly. Also, I did using a book. So, I tried my best, but I'm not sure how accurate they will be. Than I expected. I just mopped my floor. I'm going to fold my laundry and then I'm gonna take a shower. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, say hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi. Everyone, everyone. hi. Okay, you can play this. Because with you, I feel like who knows how far we go. Don't you know? Hello. So it's it's like evening now and I am preparing to go meet a friend to celebrate her birthday but I figured since I didn't film much this week I would just film myself getting ready or talking about life so it will kind of be like a very impromptu get ready with me and how I do my makeup but normally I don't really use foundation. Okay, I do this really funky thing where I put my highlighter, I wear my highlighter below BB cream instead of like as the last thing I do. I feel like after I cover it up, then it just looks more neutral. Oh, I'm deceiving myself and it actually just is, like covers all the highlight that I'm not sure. But even when I put BB cream, I don't put it on my whole face, I just put it under my eyes and over my smile lines, my smile lines here. Yeah, then when I put my foundation, it just blends the highlight to me. I don't know if it's just like a lazy step, but it actually makes a difference and it looks more natural. But I've been doing it for really long already and it works for me. And I didn't bring much makeup to campus because I just don't like having a lot of things to carry. So I ended up using pretty much the same thing every day. And 
I pretty much use my contour as eyeshadow too. I have had my, I my um, contour really intensely because I always can't see a difference and it makes me angry. So I feel like just the harder I rub, the more obvious the difference will be. This is the BB cream I use. Highlighter I just got from a friend. I, I forgot to return it to her. Drawer is the Too Faced chocolate. I cannot read the other word. Too Faced chocolate something. My eyeliner is some eyeliner I bought, I bought from Shopee. So Here is my eyeliner. What is that? Heroin makeup. Um, honestly, I change mascara brands every time I buy a new bottle, so I have no recommendations. But this is how I do my mascara. After you curl it, what I like to do is go downwards this way first to coat the upper surface of your hair, then go up this way. I feel like it just coats your eyelashes better and makes it look much thicker. So this is the eye with mascara. This is not a small, very obvious difference. But the last thing I do again is highlighter one more time. Only the inner corner of my eyes and my nose because I think that making this inner corner really light kind of creates more depth. Sometimes when I'm really feeling it and I did not bring blush, I just do this. But I mean, I guess don't use a sparkly lipstick or lipstick that's too red. If not, it will look really weird. I just pat down my lipstick on my face. What my makeup looks like, it's like a 10 minute makeup routine and it works. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick an outfit and then I'll show you guys. This is the outfit I ended up picking. It's really simple, normal, just a nice top and then some shorts and then uh, this green button up. It kind of works with the outfit and I'm gonna head off now. So I'll see you guys soon. Heading out to catch insects for Hunter right now and check out the super unsexy insect catching outfit. It is unglamorous. Hi, this is Carm from like three months into the future. I have no idea why I thought that outfit was unglamorous then because I think it is a pretty nice outfit now. I don't know if my, my fashion sense just got worse since then. Yeah. But this is this is how I'm dressed and I am brushing. Okay, so I'll see you guys. Okay, I need to get my mosquito repellent and then I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Okay, I'm really gonna do a whole video of all the insects even though nobody cares. Can it even be seen? Okay, this is an, I have no idea, it's an isopod. Dead seed bark here. Okay, this is the bristle tail. And my leaf popper. So cute. I know, right? My leaf popper is so cute. It's just white. My favorite. This is a long horn beetle. Morning. So it is really, really early. It is 4 a.m. right now. And I woke up at around 3.30 a.m. Because I have a field trip at about 5 and need to leave at 4.30. Um, we're going to some intertidal area and we're going to go look at some aquatic organisms. So I'm pretty excited for that. I am honestly not sure when this footage is going to see the light of day because I have had no time to edit, just been stressed with school getting caught up with life. Right now I'm just having my morning coffee and eating some breakfast so that I don't go there super tired. Yep, that's about it. This is my outfit. Um, I'm 
outfit. Go for my intertidal. I have arm sleeves, but I'm not gonna wear that now. And obviously, I got a hat because I do not want to get um, the sun in my eyes. I just applied sunscreen. I'm gonna put sunscreen on my face, and then I'm leaving. I'm literally rushing for time. Okay, I realized I can't share footage from the previous field trip, so I am sharing footage from other field trips instead. This was from the earliest one. We spotted a frog, and then after that, we also spotted this caterpillar that shows up under UV light, so that was pretty cute. This is an oriental whip snake. It did not like me very much. And then after that, we found a planarian. Here are some photos of uh, lab specimens that we saw. These were fish larvae. We were supposed to ID them, but I wasn't very good at it. Here's a bee I saw at Hot Park, um, but the footage is I also set up yellow pen traps to catch insects and they were really unsuccessful. Here is footage of me catching my fruit piercing raw. This is uh, what it looks like after I thinned the specimen. Here is me catching my desolate <laughs> hawk moth. Um, I was yeah, freaking out. <laughs> and here is the specimen after it has been thinned. And I also went to Dover Forest with my family for the Dover Forest tour. But I was so dramatic here, I was literally covering my mouth like cover for what, yo? We also had a class field trip to sea aquarium. So I had I took some videos of some of the sea creatures there. And I also had a self-organized field trip with some seniors to Sungai Bulo Nature Reserve. And I spotted a lot of monitor lizards. Good afternoon, so I have no idea when this footage will see the light of day because I have not been editing anything, I'm just really stressed. But it is recess week and I'm going to go to JV to do some shopping again because I don't know when I'm just stressed so I'm gonna get ready now and then if I have a bit of time I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna have like a really mini skate session because my legs are super itchy and I want to skate a bit and then I'm gonna go to JV. Here is my makeup. It's really simple because I have no time. I'm literally rushing for time. But I'm going to go skate for like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna leave her. See you all. See y'all when I see you. Feeling free, then push up on it and breathe and put your body on me. And if you're feeling fine, then focus on you and I and scratch your name down my spine. I wrote a ballad inside of a body shoddy saying. Algorithm by sheets, she shake her gluteus maximus to the flow of the beat. She a vegan and she don't eat meat. Well, that's a lie. Agave lips and they taste so sweet. It's so divine. She's last three conjugating. My pulse and my mood besides you got me waiting. A bowl afternoon, divine truth when you're shaking. We're making the mood. Some amalgamation of oscillations for hours to prove. You're an independent archetype who don't need no man. You gotta be right on the August side when it comes to plans. You understand? And no strings attached, but somehow you keep running back. I wrote a ballad inside of a body shot. He sang perfectly syncopated with me. I told her, baby, I'm burning. I probably gotta be blossoming soon, so hold on to see.
Okay, so this is a mini haul. You can skip past it if it's boring to you. I got this Queen shirt. I wanted to get the Kiss shirt, but I honestly listened to Queen more, even though the design wasn't as nice. And then I got this Nike shirt because it was quite cheap. I think the Nike stuff on sale was like 2 for 40% off. So I got the shirt and this sports bra. The sports bra fits like a glove. Best buy ever. It was so soft. And then I got this guest shirt. It was really cute. But it was pretty plain too. Honestly, I just got it because I felt like it flatters my body. And then at night, Crystal and I decided to do some facial masks. Uh, and again, I just felt like I looked like Dwight Chute from The Office, but it was pretty nice. And in the morning, um, I, I just made coffee and I pretty much do not have any other footage after that. I, I just went back and then I started studying for midterms for the rest of the week, so... Hi, this is Carm from the future, again, just wanted to put a uh, disclaimer in case people think I spend a lot of money shopping. Um, I think the total I spent for this whole trip wasn't even more than 200 SGD and it was a birthday treat because uh, that was the week that my birthday fell on and one of the tops Crystal bought for me too as a birthday present so yeah but oh shout out to my friends for getting me a new skateboard deck because mine was literally shredded it had major rings of tail yeah and that's pretty much it Okay, so some few days after my last midterm paper, I decided to buy a pair of Crocs because I've wanted Crocs for very very long, even though I know they are ugly, but I refused to admit that they were ugly, so I decided to style them and um, I don't know, they look pretty terrible, but I have recorded footage, so I don't want the footage to go to waste, so I'm just gonna include them here, you can judge for yourself whatever the heck I was trying to do. If it's any consolation though, my dad got knockoff Crocs, so we could twin, and that was pretty wholesome. Oh, okay, it is presentation day. It is currently like 7, 7.40 a.m. And I just got ready, and I had to dress a bit more formal, so this is my formal. <laughs> I am a bit nervous, but somewhat like excited too because I'm interested in the topics I'm presenting about. Yeah, okay. But well, I'll see you guys when I record again. Oops. Um as expected I did not in fact record again because I got lazy and forgetful. So this is footage of me after my last finals paper. I think I was going to Jurong Bird Park with my family. Hello, it is the day after my last paper, so I'm actually free now and I can do whatever I want till I have to move out. And I, my family and I are going to Jurong Bird Park today, so I am excited. So recent obsessions, I have been reading a lot of books lately. By lately, I mean like the last two weeks because I was procrastinating from studying, but I have read Boy in Striped Pajamas. I should do a book review. Like, I should just like list like my ratings of the books here. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I read um, Boy in Striped Pajamas. It's pretty good. Then I read If I Stay. It was not my kind of thing because it felt like um, teen romance. And I feel like I don't feel very fulfilled reading a whole book on teen romance. And then I read Handmaid's so Tale. Really good. I really liked it. And then after that, I decided to read Flowers of German, and I finished it last night at like 2 a.m. It was so good. I was literally crying, and I was reading it in like the lounge outside. So it was like people walking past, and I was tears were streaming. It was really good, but I'm not gonna spoil it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go get ready, pack a little bit, cause my room is really messy. And then I'm gonna head to Jurong Park. Excited! I hope I'll get like some footage there so that you know, so I could just edit it in. Yes, okay.
Hi, this is Karm from the future again. Uh, I realize this video has no outro, so I have to make an outro now. But that is it for this video. Um, hopefully, I get to edit more for winter break. If you enjoyed this video, or if you see yourself in this video, Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, the usual stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.